we were interested in the, the stories that had come out about case series of patients who took uh, these drugs for Parkinson's disease who developed compulsive gambling or hypersexuality. Um, there were several different case reports from a case series from Mayo Clinic that pointed out shocking things that had happened. People who'd lost hundreds of thousands of dollars or, or engaged in, in all kinds of, of, of very damaging um, sexual indiscretions uh, as a result of being on these dopamine agonist drugs. Uh, so we were trying to figure out a way to look at a local population and see how frequent these behaviors occurred in such a population. Basically, one in almost five people on these therapeutic dopamine agonists ended up developing compulsive behaviors. What we suspect it's probably an underestimate because this was a retrospective study, meaning we looked at charts to see what had been bad enough or upsetting enough that the patient told the doctor and the doctor wrote it in the chart. So we didn't do any kind of systematic searching, we just read the records and out of these records popped these seven people who had um, gambling issues um, or, or sex issues. I think the most important thing for a clinician to be aware of with these medications is that there is, based on our study, a, a, a high proportion of patients who potentially uh, could develop new onset gambling or new onset hypersexuality. Um, these were tended to come on over weeks or months, and it emphasizes the importance in follow-up appointments of checking to see if the patient has developed uh, behaviors they never had before. Likewise, it's good to warn patients and families that uh, this could happen, and if it does happen, it could be due to the drug. If um, a 65-year-old man with Parkinson's disease who's never had a problem with gambling before suddenly becomes someone compelled to go to the casinos every day, um, that's worth noting. If, uh, if there's a major change in behavior the, and, and the person has been started on these dopamine agonist drugs, they could be the cause of the trouble. Any physician who sees a patient on a dopamine agonist should be aware of the potential of these drugs in therapeutic doses to cause uh, problems like this with gambling and hypersexuality and other compulsive behaviors. These drugs only came into wide use in the past decade, and as sometimes happens with, uh, with, with medications, we don't really know about some of the more egregious side effects until they've been used for several years. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you uh, develop these symptoms on the drug, you have to come off of it completely. Um, we had at least one case where the person was able to drop the dose by about a third and um, the symptoms remitted. Um, so it, it, the, the important point is to recognize what's happening before you've squandered your retirement or emptied your bank account or um, gone broke.